Let's take a look inside a USB power dehumidifier. And this is a little dehumidifier block that is designed for small enclosed areas like cupboards, things like that, that you can then take out and recharge by plugging it into USB. And I was kind of doubtful about that because USB isn't great for a lot of power. Now, it's also worth mentioning that uh, in the listing it said you have to leave it powered all the time, which is not a good idea. That would not work at all. But anyway, here's a listing, USB circulating dehumidifier, mini dehumidifier, reusable portable air dryer for wardrobe, shoe cabinet, bookcase. It was £7.59, I think that was inclusive. Um, right, on the box itself, let's zoom down a bit. It says, can be used in a scene, dehumidifier, pine pine sunlight flavour. I don't even know what that means. Let's open it up. I have charged this and it did lose weight when I uh, plugged it into USB. It claims to have a PTC heater on it. This isn't the bag that came with it. This is just a bag of stuff um, that I just basically put around it to keep the moisture away from it. I wish I'd been planning in advance if I'd really used my head. I'd have just left it in open air to see how much moisture it absorbed. But as it is, in its dry state, it was about 73 grams. Uh, I've, this has just been in that plastic bag, so I can't tell how much moisture it absorbs. They claim 120 grams. That's not going to happen. It feels incredibly light at 73 grams. Here is a USB power bank and a USB analyzer. And if I plug it in, it shows a current draw of 1.3 amps. Okay, so based on that, the voltage actually dropped to 4.7 volts. Based on that, let's get the kink calculator and work out the power dissipation in there. One point was that it's dropped. One, is it actually a PTC? I don't think it is. One point, let's say 1.3 amps times, well, let's just be generous and say 5 volts. 6.5 watts, so it, it's not bad. It claims to be a PTC heater in here, which should drop in current as it heats up. I didn't really notice that when I was testing it. Now this is where it's got these little uh, coloured silica gel beads that change colour depending on the humidity and when it needs recharged. This is where I try to open this and suddenly there's silica gel everywhere. Not that it feels like there's much inside. Is this well sealed? I think it is well sealed. That's not so great. Oh, there we go. It is very tight. Isn't it amazing how tight they can clip these things together? That is going to be really loud in the microphone. Sorry. It's going to be making those massive distortion pop noises it makes. This is not coming apart in a pretty manner. It's going to be messy. Is it going to have lots of loose silica gel in it? No, I think the silica gel is in packets inside by the look of it. New spudger getting heavy use. I'm a bit precious about new spudger, worried about it, because, you know, I want to defend my new spudger. But it, over time, I'll just get more and more contemptuous of it, as I usually do. Tool abuse. Oh, blame me, these clips are so good. How do they do it? How many have rejected the factory because they were too clipped? Okay, so there's our silica gel. So good news, you can just put a new bag of silica gel on it. The heater is literally... An aluminum plate, which is a, it's not a PTC heater, it's just a little um, standard mylar film, not mylar, um, captain tape film heater. Okay, well, there's not really much exciting to this, is there? I mean, it's basically the bag of silica gel in this. Technically speaking, you could uh, boost this up in performance by drilling a hole in it and then filling it right up to the brim with silica gel, maybe. Because this is very ungenerous. They could have done better than this. Uh, let me find a screwdriver and unscrew this, just in case there's anything exciting hidden underneath. But to be honest, I don't think there is. No, there's not. That is it. That's all we're getting. Uh, so there we have it. Uh, I'm just going to weigh this. One moment, please. And it appears to weigh 16 grams, which is just over half an ounce. And that means with an absolute perfect scenario, really humid environment, 
40% absorption or adsorption on the surface of the silica gel, it can theoretically take 6 grams of moisture out of the air. That's roughly 6 millilitres of moisture, so technically speaking, it could take out that much moisture. I very much doubt it's going to do that, though. I wonder how dry it really gets it versus if you totally baked it dry. I'm not sure how hot this will get. Uh, but there we have it. It's an interesting little novelty, but really it is a novelty. I mean, I suppose it'd work if you had a really tiny space, but in that case, maybe you're just better getting bags of the silica gel and microwaving it to dry them or putting it in a, sort of hot place to dry it and then just putting the, the bag of silica gel in instead, instead of the time it takes for this thing to uh, recycle the gel by heating it up quite uh, tamely. But there we have it. It was worth getting and certainly worth exploring. It's an interesting little looking little device, but I think it could be improved. If it's capable of drying it properly, it could be improved by literally just filling it to the brim with silica gel and the mess that entails. Ah, bonus extra footage, because, you know, if I'm going to... If I'm going to make a video, I might as well make a proper video. So I'm going to pour silica gel into this and I'm going to fill it right up to the brim. It's going everywhere. Uh, top tip, by the way, if you ever pour silica gel and it bounces everywhere and goes all over your floor, put a head torch on, the one with the LED directly in the middle of your forehead, and go into a dark room and you'll see, oh, look at the size of that bit of silica gel, uh, you'll see the silica gel reflecting light like cat's eyes. Uh, but right now, I'm going to put as much as I can in here. It's going everywhere. It's so bouncy. Why is it so bouncy? And once I've got as much in as I can here, the empty container weighed 57 grams. I'm going to clip the lid on and then I'm going to fill it by dipping it into the bag and trying to get as much work through that hole right up to the hill. Then put a bit, bit of tape over it and we'll see how much silica gel we can get into this. One moment, please. And the test is complete. I could fit in... Uh, it started off empty, 57 grams. Hold on, let me just get this. It now weighs 168 grams, so 168 grams minus the original empty weight of 57 grams equals 111 grams. Uh, the original quantity was 16 grams, including the packet equals uh, almost seven times as much uh, silica gel in there. Whether it works is an unknown known variable, but then again, I suppose there's one way to find out. I shall test this now. I shall dry it out until it takes no more moisture and then I'll leave it on soak test. This is going to take my weeks to actually do though, uh, this because uh, it's a very slow progressive absorption of moisture. But uh, I shall update the description of the video when I've finished the test and seen how much moisture it absorbs. But there we go. It turns out you can augment it a little bit and you can make it better because their original little 16 gram sachet just didn't seem very generous. But now it should be worthy.